Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hi, Calvary. Amber here with your word for the day. And today we're looking at Psalm 115. And I hope you spend some time going through and reading the entire psalm. But today we're just going to look at the first verse. And it says, Not to us, O Lord, not to us, but to your name give glory for the sake of your steadfast love and your faithfulness. This verse calls us to live a life that is fully devoted and loyal to God alone and to trust him completely. See, it is a proclamation that only God alone deserves all praise and glory. So I have a question for you. Do you think that your life glorifies God? And I think that most people that attend church would say, yeah, my life glorifies God. I come to church, I sing, I worship on the weekend. And that's a part of it, but that's not the entire part of it. See, if we want to glorify God, that we have to look at every aspect of our life and assess if our lives as a total are glorifying God. And so this has to start with your motives. And only you and God know your motives and what's really going on in your heart. No one else can know what's going on in your heart. And so a question to ask is, are my motives for promoting myself or are they for glorifying God? And how you talk, does your talk show how great you are and how successful you are? Or does your speech talk about how great and loving God is? Do your actions show that you love God and reflect his character? Or do your actions show that you really only care about yourself? And these are things that you need to spend some time reflecting on and assessing in your own life. Is my life glorifying God? Because if we want to glorify God, it has to start with surrender. It has to start with surrendering every area of our life. Not just surrendering and trusting God for our eternity, but saying, I am going to trust God and surrender every area of my life. Whether that's my relationships, my marriage, uh, my children, my job, my finances, my future, my identity, every area of your life, we have to surrender to God and say, God, I trust you and I believe that you are the one and only true God. You have all power and all authority and I am going to choose to submit my life and my way and follow your way and trust you through the process. And once we choose to surrender and then we need to get to know God. Because if we're going to choose to surrender and follow God, then we have to know God and know what the Bible says in order to be able to live that life out. See, if we say that we're going to follow God and never pick up the Bible and read it, then how are we gonna know what God is asking us to do? And how are we going to know His way if we don't spend some time getting to know God and knowing his way through the Bible. So first we need to surrender to God. We need to get to know him by spending time with Jesus because when we choose to spend time with Jesus and get to know him and then choose to live a life of obedience following his way, that is going to give him glory through your life. So I hope today that you choose to glorify God. Have a great day.